Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today we are finally doing another art video. It has taken forever, but we've got another one. Um, so, um, I just have to say, as a general disclaimer, I did not come up with this painting. I saw it as an idea on Pinterest, so yes, I'm calling this a tutorial, but really I'm just showing you the way that I did it, because it is not my painting. I got this idea from somewhere else. I tweaked like very minimal things um and it is not my idea so just have to put that out there this is this painting did not come from my brain yeah um anyway but it's a really cool painting and it's supposed to be the american flag colors as the, the northern lights and it was a really cool concept and i've actually made three of these at this point um so yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this and let's get into it. So first we are going to start off with materials. Um, You're going to need a canvas, a red paint, a blue paint, a white paint, and a black paint. Um, I like these colors the best because they look like American flag colors, and that's just what I decided to go with. Um, you're also going to need your canvas. I like to have a towel or some kind of, at least a paper towel. Towels are just easier to work with. Um, a cup of water, and then you're going to need a few different paint brushes, a large one, a small one, and a medium one. And uh, that's it for materials, so let's get into it. So I'm going to be flipping my um, cam or my uh, video camera um, up and down. So right now it's facing me or where I was sitting, so it's going to be upside down for you guys. However, I am going to be switching it multiple times. So now I'm just going to take a pencil. This just helps me. You don't have to do this, but I just like to make marks on my paper. Um, of the general area that my objects and where lines and stars and um, basically the framework of it. You can put lines wherever you want, but like the three-quarter mark and the one-quarter mark and things like that of where lines, sky, things will go, but I'll tell you that as we go. So you're going to put um, like a real quick line of that white paint since our canvas is... It, since our canvas is already primed, you are going to just do like a line of white paint make sure you have some water on your brush but not to where it's dripping just so it um like blends a little more fluidly um and put that white paint around the one third of the way um up your canvas the position of the canvas will switch soon enough so you guys can see it upright um in just a bit so now this is upright for you guys i know the depth perception is going to be a little bit different but we are just trying to work with the camera that I have right now. Um, and now we're going to take a little bit of our blue paint and put it right um, on the line that our white paint ended because we're going to blend those together. And then um, you can put some pretty far up too because you're going to pretty much have blue getting darker and darker all the way up until we blend it at black um, in the top um, left hand corner. Um, so you're going to just want to, since your, your white should be wet, you're going to take a little teeny bit of the blue and just bring it down into that white. Um, again, you don't have to worry about that very bottom because that is going to be covered in black, so you don't even have to worry about that. But you're going to just start with the lightest, palest blue and work your way up um, until you get a darker blue, and then we're going to start blending that with black. You're going to want to use... A bigger brush for this if you had that big sized one that I told you about and keep your brush um, moist I guess is the word to say I wouldn't say wet because you don't want water dripping off of it but definitely try your best to keep it moist at all times so the paint um, blends a little more fluidly you're gonna want to make life or geez sorry guys nice long strokes um, because if you don't, it's going to get choppy and you're going to see all the lines and streak marks in your painting. So we want nice 
long strokes, although I know it doesn't look like I'm doing them, but you can see my streaks as soon as I stop doing my um, long strokes. So now, once we get pretty much all the way up to the dark blue and you have what you think is blended, you can put a little bit more of your dark blue up there because, again, the top right-hand corner will be dark blue, but now you're going to take a teeny bit of black, and I mean teeny bit, um, and you're going to put that teeny dot in the upper left-hand corner um, just when you're ready. Um, I'm going to do that in just a sec um, right now, and you're going to put that into the very corner and then extend it to about the midway mark and of, of the top edge of the painting and then go about a quarter down and then you're going to want to put some blue in there um, to get that nice and blended. Also, I forgot to say this, I put a little bit too much on, that's why I had to wipe some of it off. Please cover your edges. If you hang this painting up um, and you don't have your edges covered or they look super sloppy, it's going to be really weird. I mean, it won't be that bad, but I'm just a perfectionist who looks for that. Um, so definitely cover your edges and just paint the edges whatever color you're doing it. It just makes your life so much easier in the end. So, um, once you have that completely blended, or what you think is completely blended from the, um, all sides, um, you're gonna almost want to make it a triangle, um, and, um, yeah, just blend that in so it looks as natural as possible. There are some reflection marks, um, at the top. My canvas is not actually white, but we, like I just showed on here, um, you're gonna take your black paint, and it doesn't have to be even because it's the ground, um, and the ground is never easy, even, it could be bumpy, hilly, pokey, whatever. Um, so you're just going to take a black line, however it works out. If you want it hilly, make it hilly. If you want it super flat, it's not going to look natural, but do whatever you'd like. Um, those reflection marks at kind of at the top left-ish look like my painting's white. But like I said, I'm going to flip it around many times that you can see multiple views. So now you're going to take a either fan brush or a toothbrush um, or the bigger brush if you have it, um, dip it in water, keep it moist first, and then you're going to dip it in some white paint. And then you're going to take your hand and splat or your finger and splatter the paint onto the top left hand corner where your black is because those are going to look like your stars. So those will be all the teeny tiny stars and then you can take the end of the paintbrush like I have and dip it in some um, white paint and you'll get those bigger stars. If you um, press on one of those stars, make a little dot and then drag it, it'll look like a shooting star. That's also pretty cool too. Now we're going to start with our northern lights. Um, I go with the white first. Um, it doesn't have to be the actual 13 stripes. If you want it to, it could be, but then your lines are going to be really thin. Um, I just kind of went with the flow and tried to see what worked. The first brush I was using, I really didn't like. It kind of didn't make it look nice, so I had to fix it a lot. Um, so just <laughs> excuse that. But then you are going to do the same thing, and these lines do not have to be even at all because you know the northern lights, and they are very wispy and... Um, definitely not perfectly straight lines. It would be really weird if you had perfectly straight um, lines on here, but I guess you want to keep them somewhat straight. You don't want to make them super twisty and crazy um, because, again, they are supposed to be like stripes of the flag. Um, you don't want to have like a super bold one too, so you can see on some of mine, um, I uh, changed it so that it wasn't so bold and it wasn't just a white line and you could kind of see through some of it. Um, cause again, it is a Northern light and you don't want one bold streak across your painting. These lines can go into your stars if you want. I put some of mine through the stars, some of them not. I also didn't make them even cause Northern lights probably aren't even. I've never gotten to see them in person. I would love to. Um, but yeah, the red kind of went more easily. Oh, I meant to say this. Make sure your canvas is dry before you put these new layers on. Um, that's very important. Even the, you don't want, you want to make sure your background completely dries that, uh, like white into blue into black, and then you could do the stars and the, um, black ground. Um, and then, 
uh, have that all dry and then you can do your little stripes. Um, it just, you don't want the blue and the, the white or the red blending together. That would be really bad. Um, that's, that's one you almost can't recover from. You probably can, but it would take a lot of work. Um, anyway, so keep going with your lines. I forget how many I did. I think I did 11 in total. Um, I didn't get to the 13, but I just wanted to go with whatever flowed naturally because I didn't want to make them seem crush. Um, cause this is the second one I did. I did three all together. The first one, I went with the flow a little bit too much and made them really big. This one, I kind of went in the middle and my next one, I went super thin to get all 13 in and this one kind of looked the best. Um, so, um, these don't have to go to the edge of the paper because you're not making these like super thick, big lines, um, and they don't have to be perfect. So kind of just do what you want with them. If you want these to um, extend to the edges and go around the corner of your paper, uh, you could do that too, but just make sure you extend them all the way or they might look weird. You don't want weird edges. Um, I just flipped it again. I don't know which way makes it a little bit better um, for you guys, but I'm just, I, I've never really done this kind before. So I'm just trying a few things out to see what is the best angle. Um, but I went all the way down. So I got another few stripes in there. And then really the last thing is um, our trees. Um, it kind of goes by fast when you are painting something like this because it's pretty much just a landscape. There's not much um, foreground except for the trees. Um, it's a lot of background stuff. Once again, you are going to want to make sure um, after you finish these little lines as your northern lights, you're going to want to make sure those completely dry before you do your trees. Because again, then everything will mix. Um, not going to lie, it will not look good. So make sure everything is dry and then we can come back to, take, to do your trees. Um, in my opinion, the trees take longest. I don't love doing trees or things that are super close. Um, my, I'm much better at the background stuff, so that's why, um, all of the lines and stripes and blending came so easily to me. Um, it definitely takes a few tries, so you can always try this out on a piece of paper or something before you go onto a canvas. And, yeah, um, let's start with our trees. So, trees, like I just said, could take a really long time. Um, I'm going to, you're going to take your black paint now. Um, and I like to draw a, like, line all the way up to where I think the top of my tree is going to be. And this is what, just one type of, um, tree, and you can just go down and get farther out as you go to the bottom. Um, it does take me a while to do these, so, uh, towards the end, I have put in a slowed down version, and that's a little closer to the canvas, so you can actually see how I'm doing some of my trees. Um, but if not, I'm just going to put some music on. And you guys can do your trees along with mine. Um, feel free to skip this part there. It's a few minutes um, just on trees. So um, at the end of the tree section, though, I will um, show how to do a tree. So, yeah. <laughs>
in the dark every day. <laughs> So here we have our last tree um, that I'm just going to slowly show you a little bit more slowly so you guys can fully get it a little bit more just in case you were having a little bit of trouble with the trees. And then I'm going to skip a little further and you will have your finished product. <music> I really hope you enjoyed this uh, little painting, I guess tutorial you can call it. Um, and this is the finished product. I hope you guys have a painting and I hope you guys are proud of yourselves for following along to this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, oh well. Um, subscribe to my channel if you not or if you are not already subscribed and if you like my vi videos and want to see more of them turn on post notifications um to get notified every time i post so yeah bye guys